Hey, what's going on, guys? Hope you're doing fantastic today. My name is Tyson here with Repair My Funnel, and today we're going to be diving into a brand new tool that was just rolled out maybe a day or day two days ago within Funnel Hacking Live or FHL. Um, and uh, it's an all in one funnel hacking tool. I've been using it over the past few days, actually, technically a few weeks, uh, but it's finally been rolled out to the public and we can talk about it. So, it's pretty fun. <laughs> it's a good time. Honestly, it is it's an all-in-one funnel hacking tool. It includes stuff like uh, full-page screenshots, color pickers, um, like CSS peeper functionality where it has like partial uh, inspector tool vibes going on. We'll, we'll walk through it all. Don't worry. But in order to grab this tool, uh, all you have to do is go over here, type in app.barnumpt.com and our forward slash install and it should take you to this page right here actually if you don't have an account i believe it'll take you to a sign up page but sign up it's free after that it'll bring you to this page right here and uh, after that there's a total uh, a whole tutorial right here going over how to actually install this app inside of your your browser depending on which one you're using um and yeah all right make sure to watch that find the right one that's that's best for you personally i'm, I'm using this one right here it's the pre-release chrome version and uh, once you have it installed, it'll show up just like this. All right, so inside of your Chrome uh, extension drop down there, it'll show us a little top hat uh, on that, that drop down. Uh, I like to pin this one just because it's, I mean, honestly, it's been one I've been turning back to over the past few days a lot more. I can definitely see see it being added to uh, to my workflow pretty, uh, pretty easily here. But anyways, when it is added to your extension bar here, click on it directly and you'll see a nice uh, drop down or um, viewport here of all the different tools and, and things that you can actually use this for, uh, such as screenshots, uh, viewport. You can use it for uh, screenshot in different sections. You can you know use it as a color picker, a ruler, auto refreshing tools. So if like you are trying to actually view an update on a funnel page and you're tired of hitting command R over and over and over, you can just set up an auto refresh tool there or click on this and it'll automatically just refresh the page and tell you uh, actually see that, that version you're looking for. But uh, aside from that, we have the uh, inspector, we have an image scraper, and the big things are going to be down here, uh, page transfer transfers. So if you want to take something from ClickFunnels Classic and take it on over to ClickFunnels 2.0, or even bring things from like Go High Level, uh, technically it will pull those pages uh, and bring it on over to ClickFunnels 2.0. All right, pretty fantastic. And uh, I've tested it a few times. Honestly, they, I mean, I, I didn't have any issues with it. There were a couple things, but honestly, Winter's uh, on top of it and he, he squashed those pretty fast. So. Anyways, there, there's that. I mean, honestly, that's an overview of <laughs> everything there. Uh, let's go to an actual page and we'll we'll use one of those tools or use every tool one at a time. Start off, starting off with the full page option, click on that directly and it pretty much functions the same way as go full page does. At least that's what, uh, what I've observed here. There we go. And just like that, you have a full screenshot. Pretty cool, <laughs> all right. Um, one thing that's pretty cool is that it stores all of your screenshots. So if you over here on the left-hand navigation, after you use the tool itself, uh, you can see like there's folders, screenshots, it stores all of your colors. Uh, there are some paid stuff within this, but uh, honestly, for the most part, I don't, I don't foresee needing that um, at the moment, but I don't know. Well, as I expand on it, we'll, we'll see. This is the free version right now, and I, I don't know, it's, do, it's doing everything I really needed to do, so. Uh, in any case, if we go over here to screenshots, we'll see a list of all the screenshots that we have actually taken. Uh, it'll store it here. I think the one bonus thing with uh, the paid version is it syncs up between different browsers. Uh, if you use the Chrome extension with, like, on multiple different computers, I suppose that might be handy. But honestly, I do most of this stuff on this computer. So, um, anyways, if you want the ability to, you can. Which is which is nice. Um, okay, the one cool thing I was going to get to when it comes to the back end here is you can create folders and you can assign different images and colors and everything to those folders, which is fantastic. So if I want to assign, say, the screenshot to a folder, I can click on it directly from there, click on a folder, and then set a specific uh, folder to this image, and I can find that at any point over here. Right? Pretty pretty cool. Pretty nifty. All right. This keeps it all one area so you can refer back to it at any point. You can actually even download it from this page at any point as well. Download, you can set it as a PDF um, or delete it if you don't want it anymore. Okay. Let's go ahead and back out of here. Let's go back to the actual page again. 
And we'll just uh, go down the list here of things that this thing can actually do. Um, the next thing is going to be viewport. Clicking on directly. And basically, it's just like the one area of the screen that you are on is taking a screenshot of. So the header in this case, everything above that fold was included in that, that screenshot. If you go to screenshots, it'll show within that list. There we go. If you want to associate it with a folder, again, click on it. You can go over here, click on folder. And... Uh, you know, go in and actually connect it to whatever you want. If you want to create new folders over here, you can uh, go and add a new folder right here at the top. You can you know, perform different actions like delete all of them if you want to. And that's it. But anyways, we're going to get out of here again and go back to the page. And we'll use the next one in line, which is going to be the section, which is basically just another screenshotting tool, except we can use it for specific sections on a page. So if you want to only include, ah, if you want to only include, there we go, this section right here, Boom, drag and drop. And just like that, we have that section included. All right, you can download it. You can view it as a PDF or download it as a PDF. And same thing, you can uh, do all that good stuff. Or even copy it to your clipboard, which is cool. I've also found it pretty useful to go over here and just drag it into like a text message or like in ClickUp where we manage everything. It's uh, It's been pretty pretty useful for that too. All right, saves it the same way as it would like a regular download in the in your uh, your browser, which is cool. Let's go and test out the next thing, which is going to be that color picker. If you click on that, it's just gonna it's gonna show that little uh, microscope there, where we can view a very close up um, image of what we're hovering over on that page. And then you can click on it directly. It'll give you the color, and it'll store it within Barnum PT. If we go over here and click on colors. We'll see all the colors that we have actually uh, clicked on or, or um, selected within our page or pages. You can assign those to folders if you want to. Um, you can like if you want to create a whole portfolio or um, I don't know brand image for a client or something uh, maybe like a sample for them to see you can technically just go over here take a bunch of screenshots assign a folder for them um, you know go and find a bunch of colors that you think that would be perfect for their their brand or their business associate it with that same folder and then just honestly share that folder over or or show them the folder and and that's, I mean, I don't know. It seems like a almost too easy way to show people what you're working on and, and give them a better idea of what you could build for them. The next item up that we'll be covering here is going to be the ruler. And the ruler has been fantastic. Honestly, this has been a very, uh, very welcomed addition here to my lineup. I have used other ones in the past. And honestly, they... Uh, <laughs> They always like bug out. They never give me like accurate readings or accurate uh, measurements for some reason. I, I don't know. Anyways, this one's been great so far. I've not had any issues. And actually, it's coming useful so far with a few different projects I've been working on over the past few days. So, um, yeah. Anyways, when you highlight something, you can drag and drop it. You can uh, select a specific area and it'll give you the width and height in pixels. So if you're going and creating like specific images or section, background images, whatever, and you want this specific um, number or the specific, um, I don't know, what's it called? Positioning for everything. It'll tell you right there. So pretty, pretty cool. All right. <laughs> Use it to your advantage. Honestly, it's been a lifesaver on my end so far. So, uh, the next item is going to be that auto refresh. So again, my example was if you, uh, are like trying to view updates on a funnel page, for instance, or you want to view animations, maybe whatever on, on someone, someone's page that you're funnel hacking, set up that auto refresh there. You can set the amount of seconds you want to refresh at and it will just constantly update the page. There we go. It's been 20 seconds. It's updating the page there automatically and you can adjust that right here. So maybe if I want to do, do it every four seconds, I can. Ah, oh, it has to be five. Okay, fine. Every five seconds, boom. All right, so every five seconds, it'll just reload the page. There you go. That's it. That's all it does. <laughs> it refreshes the page. Um, after that, we have the inspector. So if you want to hover around, this is very, 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 very similar to what we see with CSS Peeper. Um, it's giving you like all the padding, the margin, uh, everything that you need to know about specific elements on a page. Right. So we can see like the size of different images. You see this is a 600 by 759 pixel uh, with there. You can go around a page and find the different elements that you're looking for. Maybe you want to see the size of the headline here. Awesome. Click on that. Um, if you want to actually copy that and use it within your own designs, you can actually just click on it right over here on the right hand side. It'll copy to your clipboard. Now you can take it into the editor and just paste it in there. I mean, how, how cool is that? Uh, the one thing that I have not been able to get is going to be like the style or like, yeah, this stuff right here. It does not, does not seem to pull that information for whatever reason. Um, oh, actually, as I hover over it, it says open sans there, pop-ins. Okay, so it does say it, but for whatever reason, it doesn't show it right here. I wonder what happens if I go and 
paste that into, yeah, it doesn't copy anything. So um, I, I have not been able to get that to actually appear. Maybe that's just part of the beta, who knows? Uh, but either way, as I hover around, you can actually see the font that's being used for that specific text, which is cool. Um, images here, again, you can see the actual size, 123 by 32, pretty sick. See different colors. Uh, yeah, we got colors happening right here. Uh, what about this? Yep, we got background right here. I think, I wonder, okay, if we click on that. Oh yeah, okay, copies, uh, it's gonna right on top of the hex code there. Um, now we have that copied, I paste it into area. Yeah, awesome, it actually copied it. Let's see, what else? can't click around here. I can see, oh, I can see different colors on the page. There we go. I can see different fonts on the page. Okay, so if it won't show, which in this case is not for me, you can see all the fonts that are in use for the entirety of the page right here. Um, you can move this around as well, which is pretty nice. Pretty nifty. All right. Um, there's that. Basically, just to give you more information around the things you click on around the page. And instead of using like the, the inspector tool, right? So if you don't want to go over here and use the developer and uh, if you see all this code on the page, uh, you could use something like Barnum PT or CSS Peeper. In this case, we're, we're covering Barnum PT, so you could check it out if you wanted to. Um, it's been it's been pretty decent so far. All right, uh, the next item here is going to be the image scraper. This is going to pull all images on this page, um, everything. There we go. As you scroll through, you see different things showing up. Um, if you want to download it, you can just click on it directly. Technically, uh, go over there and download it afterwards. Make sure you're not doing this for anybody else's photos and infringing on people's IP. Uh, I gotta give a fair warning to that. You definitely don't wanna be stealing people's stuff. Use this with caution, <laughs> all right? Uh, use common sense, don't steal people's stuff. Be cool, man, just be cool, all right? Uh, if it is your stuff and you're just trying to easily find it and grab it, fantastic. With that said, the last two items here to cover are gonna be page transfer. So let me pull up ClickFunnels Classic real quick and we'll transfer things from one area to the other, show you how it works. Alrighty, I found a little test funnel here that we can bring over from Classic to 2.0. Now, to do this, all you have to do is click on the actual extension here. Ah, let's get out of there. Uh, click on the extension here, and from there, click on Save Page as a Copy. You also have the option to go and just save pages wireframe. Basically, that'll just take like the flow of the page that you've created, the sections, and everything that's on there. Uh, but if you want to copy the entire thing, click on Save Page as Copy. Confirm that is actually your page, and from there, click on Copy. All right, now the page has been copied. So what we have to do from here is head directly to ClickFunnels 2.0. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new funnel. And after that, once this loads, we're gonna go ahead and click on Start from Scratch. We'll call this Share Funnel from Classic. And we'll rename it afterwards uh, with the correct name, but for now, that'll, that'll do. All right, once that loads, let's uh, let that uh, pop up on the screen here. Once that comes up, we're gonna go ahead and click on the first option there to add a first step. Click on page, click on new page, and we'll do new share page test. There we go. Click on create page. And inside of the editor, once we can get in there, there's gonna be a little icon for Barnum PT. All right, it's gonna be just his face basically. Uh, give, it, give it a second more, it's, it's just a little shy today. There we go, click on edit. From here, go ahead and click on his face and it'll show a little pop-up. After that, click on copied pages or wireframes, depending on what you actually selected there and, and copied from uh, the page that you're on. And uh, it should show a little pop-up with the actual screenshot or the template that you copied. All right, click on that specific uh, version or that, uh, that import that you've created there and it will just share it into your account. Give it a second and it will lay out the entirety of that page. There we go. All right. Uh, everything is copied over. Let's see the footers there. Yeah. Some things need to be adjusted as far as like color, but for the most part, everything, everything's there. Pretty, pretty cool. All right. What is, what is this input? I'm using the custom input. You should provide. Okay. So if custom values need to be updated and stuff, but for the most part, it brought over the pop-up as well. Pretty, pretty nice. There we go. All right. We're going to get out of that. Uh, now, the one caveat to this is that you have to do this page by page. It only copied the first step inside of that funnel. If I want to do the second step, I'd have to actually go to the second step there, pull it up, and from there, we'll do the exact same thing. <laughs> we'll go in and, uh, man, this is a long time ago. This is a test funnel. Anyways, we'll go in and um, do the same thing, copy the, or save the page as a copy, and then uh, you know just go back over to the classic editor or 2.0 editor, rather, 
do a new page and you'll just repeat the entire process there of clicking on Barnum's face. From there, click on either wireframe or copy um, or yeah, your, your entire copy there and then select the actual import that you wanna use and it will share that inside of your accounts. That's it, that's all you have to do. Fantastic, this is what we've wait, been waiting for for a long time. Uh, technically, this will also work with Go High Level pages as well at this point in time. Uh, so anything that you wanna share over from there to 2.0, it is now a possibility. All right, uh, I believe they're also expanding it to like Elementor, Divi, um, Wix, like all these other editors, they're making it so you can do the exact same thing if you have already created an existing site using those. So. There's that. All right. Um, hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully you found some value in this whole walkthrough. There's uh, one other thing I guess we can cover as well, which is basically that you do have the ability to go in and add your own API key for like ChatGPT, and it will then allow you to go in and write out the funnels and create them here using AI. So you do have that ability if you want to. Um, if that's something you're looking for, you can go in here, go to dashboard, and I believe you can go to settings to add your API key. And just like that, you can uh, input the actual API token that you want to use and um, yeah, you're, you're good to go. Or you can upgrade and get access to the AI without using op a open AI key, uh, meaning that, um, I guess, by paying, you can then use ClickFunnels uh, account or API. I, I don't know. I'm not sure how that actually works, but uh, that's what they're saying right here. Okay, um, that that is basically it. Have fun. If you find anything else that I did not cover within this video, let me know. Um, I am excited to keep exploring this and using it within different projects and all that fun stuff. All right. With that said, thank you for watching. If you have any questions around ClickFunnels Classic or 2.0 or even Barnum PT for that that matter, uh, feel free to let me know and I'll find the right answer for you, point in the right direction, and uh, make sure that you are good to go. All right. With that said, again, have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will talk to you later in the next video.